Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with a game I've been asked to review called Afterlight Catacombs. This just came out sometime in late October, I believe. And I'm a little late for doing the Halloween thing, but I always do horror survival type things. This one looks kind of more from like the 90s, maybe. Uh, kind of almost Doom like. But I did go in and briefly play a little bit to kind of get used to controls and things like that. Uh, it's actually, the controls and everything are actually pretty simple, but some things are not as straightforward as others, so I'm kind of glad that I did, because we would have been fumbling around quite a bit. There isn't really a tutorial, per se, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this. This is probably not going to be a long game, if, if at all, to complete, but it's tough to get through, I will tell you that. Um, I don't know that I'm going to get very far, but we're going to see how far I do get. I mean, the main gist in this is to figure out and explore, not get killed, <laughs> lots of things, good things like that. But The catacombs. Since forever, the villagers warn each other about the catacombs at the base of the Goat Arch Mountains. Should I have listened to them? All right, you start off in the dark. You got a little heart symbol down at the lower left. Basically informs you of your health. Now you need to press 1 to raise your torch. Now this is a piece of chalk. As you can see, the graphics are very basic. But I used to love games like Doom. Even with the simple graphics, I still like to play them, and they still hold up pretty well. Well, let's read this note. It says, press tab to access your inventory. Once in there, you can right-click items to, to use the item, add them to shortcuts, one, two, three, or four on the keyboard, and combine with other items. To combine items, right-click, select combine, then click on the other item for the combination. This is the way you can recharge your torch with oil flasks. So that is important. The torch I have is my only source of light, so I need to keep it lit because you not only does it get dark and hard to see, but there are things that you need to protect yourself from. <laughs> so, but first of all, I didn't figure this out until early on, but there are these things called braziers. If you light those, that also helps light things up. Plus, it's a place you can refuel your torch if you don't have any oil. So what you do is you just hit E, and then it'll refill you fill your torch without having to use up any oil. Alright, now we're on the first level, and this is actually fairly safe. Now one of the things it asked me to do is to figure out a way to open up this gate. Well, that's the most straightforward way of putting it here. Now we're going to go down here, and I will tell you, there isn't really anything on this first level that can kill you. First level is actually fairly safe, so it's just more or less a maze. Let's read this one. March 20th, Year of the Golden Worm. I scribble these words by the flickering light of a luminescent stone, nestled between two ancient crypts. The air is thick with the scent of damp earth and decay. It's as if the very walls whisper secrets to me, though I'm not sure I want to hear them. Today was another long day of digging, my pickaxe striking against the cold, dark rock. The Duke's men are demanding more ore than ever before, and I've been told that every grain counts in their war effort. But it's hard to see the purpose when all I see is stone upon stone, crypts upon crypts. As I dug, I uncovered a small statue of an ancient warrior, his face twisted in a snarl. 
The patina of his, on his armor was eerie, as if he'd been buried for centuries. Maybe from an age previous to the discovery of Trini? Maybe think about those who lie above, fighting and dying in a war between the merchant families. Are they any different than from us down here in the dark? Alright, we'll put that back. You don't keep them, so... Anyway, there are going to be things you find along the way. There are going to be dead ends. This is a maze. I haven't seen anything in any of the pots, but I always kind of check just in, just in case. Now we've got two paths here. That one's a dead end. You can run. You just hit the shift key. Now you can light some torches along the way, which is helpful. Makes it easier to find your way back, for starters. Now I'm going to go through and see if there's any goodies on this first level. You can actually get through this faster, but I want to find as much loot as I can because I'm going to need it. Alright, let's see. We're going to go back here a little further. And I think... See, I've already got myself turned around. think. Nope, there's the torch that I saw had lit earlier, so I'm alright. My torch is starting to wear out, which is making it hard to figure my way around. But I think there might be another brazier that I can light somewhere along here. There's a dead end. Yeah, you can tell my my brazier is getting lighter and lighter and lighter. Getting harder and harder to see. Ah, shoot. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use my oil. Now this is how it's done. Go to tab. You click combine, and then you click on the torch. There we go. Now we can see what we're doing. Jeez, that was kind of bad. Yeah, this is all dead end, so you can't go anywhere here at all. No wonder I was lost. So there really isn't anything really back here to, to do yet. I, like I said, I just wanted... That torch already burned out. Now this room is important because this is how we open up the gate. Click the lever and we go back to where we came from. Now this in this situation it was no big deal. We just go. Wait a minute, I think I went the wrong way again. God, it's easy to just turn around in here. I need to go this way. There we go. Nope, that's not it either. Shoot. This way. There's the torch. Okay. Did I get turned around again? I sure did. <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> Let me figure out how to get out of here. turn this way, I think. I'm getting tired. Okay, I found my way here. Let me go back over here to this brazier and relight this before I completely run out of light. Alright, this is where the gate was, because before there was a skull. Now we go down to the next level. Okay, this is level two. New objective. Now, we need to open up another gate. 
Let's light this thing. Yeah, and always, if you get near the brazier, it's always a good idea just to go ahead and make sure that your torch is nice and lit. Okay, another note. This is March 20th. Okay. That's one I've already seen, so I'm sure you all heard that noise. That noise is one of the creatures down here, and there he is. Boy, they came along kind of quickly this time. Now, for the most part, they're usually and generally afraid of your light. But I'm going to go ahead and check this room out. All right, we got another another note. The notes aren't all that important. That's a dead end. Oh boy, that thing thing scares me every time. That sound it makes, it's awful. Okay, he ran away. He won't run for long. Okay, where's the torch? Wait a minute, this is the brazier. I'm gonna go ahead and relight my torch. Because if it goes out, he will come and hurt me. Okay, let's see, what's this way? Okay, that's the thing I gotta open. Okay, there's nothing in here but statues. Wait a minute, here's the lever. Okay, I gotta get out of here quick. Like I said, you gotta get out of here quick. To the second level. If you don't, he will come after you. When you pull the levers, he'll suddenly get bold and not care about the torch. He'll just put it out for you and then kill you. Whew. That, my friends, was close. <laughs> okay. I got a little lucky. I found that lever fast, and I knew exactly where I was going, but I don't see any braziers here, which is not good. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. Ah, thank goodness. That's going to help. Alright, so we need to figure out where the skull is that we need to open the next level. There it is. Okay. So we need to go this way. Okay, that did not sound good. Oh, shoot! Okay, he is out to get me for some reason. I don't know why. He's moving pretty fast, too. Might need those bandages after all. I don't know what the heck is his problem. <laughs> oh, shoot! <laughs> okay, maybe it's because I'm hurt. I don't know. Somehow I got hurt. I don't know why I ticked him off. Okay. Okay, the bandages helped. Something, for some reason I got... Okay, he's back to being passive. I don't know what in the world made him mad. 
Okay, usually they only get upset if you pull a lever. Or maybe I entered a room that I shouldn't have. I don't know, but there's no way to get through there otherwise. I hate that sound he makes. Is there another way through here? Okay, somehow or another, that hurts me. And he is not having any of it. Seem to calm down a little bit. I don't know what the heck. Why that ticked him off so bad. But he's back to being passive again. Go away. I don't like you. <laughs> okay, I need to find another entrance here. Like, Toot Suite. This is not it. That's not it. Okay, this might be it. Okay, this is weird. Back this way where he's at. Okay, this guy's really starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> and I end up having to go back through this. Is there a way? I think what I need to do is just not walk through that light. That's what ticked him off. Remember in Indiana Jones when you past the light and set off a trap. I think it's kind of like that. Well, let me relight this again. Okay, so we avoid the lights. See, now he's being... he's behaving himself. Okay, here's the path I didn't see. Okay, we got another room. Nothing in it. Okay, here's that room with the multiple... Shoot. Alright, this isn't getting a whole lot better. And he's down there now. Unless this is a, a different room. Oh, go away. I don't like you. Now he's back in a corner. Oh, well, that didn't go anywhere. I am kind of at a loss here. Another dead. 
Oh, shoot. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me, you pain in the ass. Oh, he, he got me. He got me, guys. Dead gun it. Yeah, he kills you. Well, shoot. And then they make you completely restart it. You can't save it. Yeah, you have to go all the way to the beginning. <laughs> well, we'll try one more time. Yeah, because I did get through one other time much farther than that. But I will tell you this, every time you come in, it changes. It's never exactly the same. And we've already done a tutorial note. But yeah, it's never quite the same each time. So just when you think you can do this it was always always a brazier at the beginning but I see it looks a little bit different than it did I think it starts you at a different place I think it might be the same but it starts you at a different place all right again nothing here so this at this point it should be safe See, this time I think I've got more stuff. That was another thing. I didn't get a whole lot of loot in that first go-around, because I could have gotten... Now, see, I've got more chalk here. There's another note. Oh, this is a different note. I'm displeased the slow pace of the mining efforts of this catacombs. This is just... I'm not going to go through all the notes because there's there's a lot of reading <laughs> and it's just kind of giving you a little bit of the background lore of the place but it's not necessary to complete the game at least that it doesn't seem to be okay now I had gone over there so I need to go this way I think nope again I got turned around well, let me relight my thing. I need to turn this way. I was in this room. I need to find the opening here. New room. Yep, there's bandages. We're going to need that. Only got one thing of oil, which is kind of... Not great. Alright. Here's the lever. Alright. So this is... That's no big deal. All it does is open up the... When it's over here, on the safe level. There it is. Now before I do that, I am going to go back here and relight my thing. Rather not use up my oil until I absolutely need it. Alright, level two. Hopefully I won't die quite so fast. Now, so far this looks sort of the same as it did initially in the other one. Now I know about the light trap. That was new. That, I did not see that before. If I hadn't gone through that, I probably wouldn't have ticked that thing off as quickly. See, now there's a torture. See, it's a little bit different each time. And our friend's back. Okay, that led us to a dead end. Go away. We don't like you. We don't like you. I'm not sure, but I might be going back to the beginning. <laughs> yeah, tack on it. I keep doing that. I get turned around. Go away. We don't like you. I told you that already. Okay, we got a new... Okay, this is new. Uh, 
that's another dead end. It's an interesting choice of words, isn't it? Dead end. Yeah, if your torch goes out, he goes nuts. Okay, we need to go this way. No, we don't need to go that way. We gotta go towards him. Of course we do. I think. Maybe not. Okay, if this is a dead end, I'm gonna mark it with chalk because uh, if this takes us back to the beginning again. God bless it. I think. Nope, here's the lever. Oh boy, this is where it gets interesting. And Happy Pants is gonna be here. <laughs> Oh, I think he got me. He got me. Daggone it. Well, shoot. <laughs> I suck at this. <laughs> yeah, I got like four levels the first time I went through this. This time I'm not doing very well. Oh, well, guys. Yeah, I think, when, like I said, I think when you do restart, it just takes you to the very beginning. It does every time. It's so going to the main menu, going here, it doesn't make any difference. Brazier's, let's see, right here. Well, I'm going to quickly go through this and I will bring you back because I don't think you guys want to see this again. Alright guys, we are back at the second level. We did manage to pick up a lot more stuff this time. I still didn't find any oil though. That's the only problem I can see. We're gonna have to keep close watch on our torch. Make sure we don't run out of fuel and that we keep it constantly lit. This guy is usually here from the very beginning. This kind of looks like the very first time I went through. I think it might be actually. May be helpful. He'll be right here at the end, but it's a long path through what looks like caves. Until it squares off. There's the skull. Okay, this actually is good because it means that the lever should be close by. I need to get. get this I need to run oh, the devil's chasing me because honestly he is okay okay there's nothing down here at all I have no idea what sets this guy off but there's nothing down here at all that I can use That's going to help. Okay, he's getting a little testy. Well, I didn't see anything. Did I miss an entrance? Must have because I don't see anything. Yeah, I must have missed an entrance. I don't know what the deal is. Go away, we don't like you. Go away, we don't like you. Go. Go away. We don't like you. Yeah, 
it's like every now and then the torch gets blown out. Somehow there was an opening that I missed. Because that didn't do me any good at all. Where the heck is it then? Oh, <laughs> there's our lever, which means we got to run right into it. <laughs> we need to run. Like the devil's following us, which he is. And there's level two. This is where we die every time. Actually, level three. Top level is level one. Yeah, this is the one I can't seem to get past this time, guys. So far, it's been mostly looking the same, at least at the beginning. There's the skull thing to open the entrance. More chalk. Yeah, the chalk didn't do me any good last time. There's our little friend. Go away, little friend. Nobody likes you. We got a torch. That's going to be helpful. Okay, we got an opening to the right. Ooh, we got one of those again. Fun, fun times. We're not going that one that way. We're gonna go this way. Ah, oil. That could be helpful. More oil. And another, nope, dead end. Brazier, which is great. That will keep him from coming down here. In theory. Okay, this is... This is some kind of a crypt area. Go away, we don't like you. He'll still attack. If you get too close to him, he'll attack you. Okay, we got another... Whew, this one's a lot more complicated than the others have been. More oil. Okay. Go away, nobody likes you. <laughs> Okay, we went that way, so we gotta go. Oh. Okay, I'm thinking that we gotta go to the tra light traps. Oh, more oil. We're going to combine this with this. Get our lamp going. That just takes us back. All right. I thought I saw the light trap. Where is it? Okay, 
I got myself turned around some sort of way here. Here it is. Okay. Do not walk through that. That's bad juju. I'm not going to have a whole lot of option though, because I have a feeling this is where the lever is going to be, so we need to. Or not. No lever. No lever at all. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, now we're going to tick off Mr. Happy Pants. Got me. Dang on it. Well, looks like I'm stuck on level three. All right, guys. Well, that's our first look at that game, and it is tough. It is really tough. Getting past him is not easy. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at Afterlight Catacombs. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. As always, say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.